there is more bad news for the GOP and groups like Freedom Work, and, and of course, Carl Rove's Crossroads GPS, Heritage Action, and all those other really large conservative super PACs, as well as basically a lot of the GOP candidates. Now, why do I say that? Well, according to an article in Politico written by Maggie Haberman and Anna Palmer, they write, quote, heavyweight Republican donors are frustrated and horrified. Yes, horrified. That their money is going to wrong-headed politicians and groups that appear to have no effect on election outcomes. Basically, they're flushing their money down the shitter. For what? Pretty much for nothing. Quote, in conversation after conversation, donors expect express growing frustration with the party and the constellation of outside groups they've been bankrolling. Now, the article also says that donors were horrified in November after pouring hundreds of millions of dollars into campaigns for president and Congress with absolutely nothing to show for it. And in the wake of the Republican shutdown fiasco, they have become even more concerned. Now, I have some excellent examples about this, um, and that is Crossroads GPS, Carl Rove's group. They spent $300 million in 2012 and saw ev almost every single one of their candidates lose horribly. Good example, Todd Akin, Scott Brown, Richard Murdoch, all too extreme for the voters. Yeah, sure, they got through a Republican primary, but that don't, when they get to the general, they get slaughtered, even with all that, uh, all that money backing them. So apparently all of this uh, money absolutely wasted. Of course, I don't really feel bad for Karl Rove. I don't feel bad for any of these large conservative donors because, hey, if they want to throw their money on, you know, away on uh, Todd Akin, who, can't, who couldn't seem to stop, you know, talking about rape, I don't feel all that bad. Thoughts? Well, uh, I, I don't feel bad for Karl Rove's group. And Karl Rove's group, it's funny that they lost in the general elections, but he also loses when he backs the uh, wrong guy in the primaries. And I also find that funny because he's super bitter about that. I remember he backed um, Sestak in the uh, Kentucky primary, who was opposing Rand Paul. He backed the guy opposing Mike Lee in the primary in 2010. I think he might have backed somebody opposing Ted Cruz. So even even before he gets to the general election, he's wasting his money. Oh yeah, Karl Rove is just he's he's really apparently really bad at picking candidates. Rove is just one of those guys that is losing power and he's super bitter about it. I mean, he was the political guy during the Bush years. Like oh, yeah. if you had him on your side, you were probably going to win for a for a, probably a good solid six years and he's losing his power and people are people aren't interested Republicans aren't interested in Karl Rove and Democrats have never been interested in Karl Rove and independents aren't interested in him so uh, he's just trying to get people to keep sending him money yeah I think a lot of the older Republicans are having a serious crisis internally right now because um, they are losing power they may still be rich and they may still be one of the most powerful people in the country but they're on their way out and they know it and people don't like them anymore and they're start I think more and more people are starting to be aware of you know what they're really like well I mean if you, if you look at the polling you know the American public is tired of these the politicians that, and the, the super PACs in particular. Um, I mean, the, these, these are the same politicians that tried to sell our national parks after they closed them down. Um, <laughs> it, it, I, I think Karl Rove has a lot of that, that Bush-era stigma to him, and I think that when a lot of people think of Karl Rove, they think of the Bush administration. So I think a lot of people are trying to distance themselves as much as they can away from Karl Rove well, administration, especially after Carl lost all that money. Oh, uh, you know, that's such a election. good point. That's a really good point, bringing up the Bush years. I almost I almost wouldn't have... Uh, I forgot to actually try to tie that in. You're right. A lot you of the, Bo these, George already? Yeah, well, a lot of these conservatives, especially after the Bush years, were like, hoo -hoo, get me as far away from W as I can. Because that's... You know, ooh, no. <laughs> And you know, you know I, st I still, I still, even though I still greatly disagree with them uh, and their ideology as a whole, I, I do recognize also that the Republican Party um, 
as a group of Congress people, as a group of politicians, are falling farther and farther away from the rest of the Republicans as a, as a population. The Republicans, Republican people, you know, ordinary Republicans, right. I, I think are starting to um, have a harder and harder time relating to the politicians that represent them, supposedly. It's broken up into three factions. You have the corporatists, you have the libertarian freedom movement, and you have the evangelicals. Mm -hmm. and apparently Absolutely. what is that the, the libertarian uh, freedom movement and the evangelicals are tired of the corporatists. And that's basically what we're seeing right now. And I, th and I, course, I, I think the main issue with uh, Karl Rove in, in particular is he's, he's basically an overrated uh, political, like a political guy. It's like, uh, like remember after Obama won his first election, everybody wanted Axelrod. Everybody wanted Axelrod. Eventually, people are going to realize that Axelrod is not the guy, and people have are starting to realize that Karl Rove is not the guy. That it's really the candidate, like and how and how the campaign is run. Like you can't, you can't. Um, like there's an old phrase: you could shine a turd, but you're not going to get a diamond out of it, or something <laughs> like that. Like, you know, you forget, <laughs> forget the worst. Uh, the the most important point about Karl Rove is that he's a giant ham. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and share with your friends. If you want to see more, go to our channel at youtube.com slash tytnation. And if you really want to support the show, support this channel, go to our fundraising campaign at www.patreon.com slash tytnation. The website is in the description below. Thank you, guys. And keep watching.